It's a peaceful day. This is time to think about your technique. On Lake Andrea and Pleasant Prairie. Let's push off. Until. Madam Spetty, you have the race. You hear the roar. Here we go. Of the centuries old sport of dragon boat racing. Go. More than a dozen teams competing. 20 paddlers in each boat working as one to get to the finish. But what makes this Dragon Boat team different from the rest? No! They're all fighting the same fight. I'm a breast cancer survivor for the past 12 years, and I'm still fighting. Right. These women are members of the Pink Paddling Power, a breast cancer survivor support group. It's a great group of women to be with, and you know we never really talk about our diagnosis. Pull! Whose therapy is being with each other on the boat. Excellent! When one is ill, we all feel it. We bond that way. I think that's our strength. Reach out. 30 active paddlers are on the team and they range in age from 42 to 73. Age does not matter. Cancer is not prejudice. Ten more. Part of the Racine Dragon Boat Club, they practice at Reef Point Marina. And with every stroke, they prove there is life after cancer. Well, I've really gotten a new lease on life. It's nice to know that you can survive breast cancer, be a mature person, and still be competitive, and that's what I love about it. Get angry, girl! They may wear bright pink, but there's nothing ladylike when they're paddling in sync. Pull this boat, come on! We're all muscle and bronze and spit and sweat and <laughs> grunting and groaning. Get angry, get me! And Coach Brian Siebenless pushes his team hard. I tell the women all the time, get angry. You know, we're not in this boat to look pretty. I don't care if you need to growl. Get all of your aggressions out from treatments, Reach! Get angry! These breast cancer survivors not only compete in dragon boat races locally and nationally, they also put their paddles in waters around the world. As a team, we've been to Canada, we've been to Hong Kong, and then um, we're going to Italy for the World Championship. But it's not just about competing or supporting one another. Dragon boat racing helps in the recovery of breast cancer survivors. Exercise and doing things keeps the lymphedema in check. You can't really see it anymore on my arm. Pull, two, The pink three, paddling power four, has been making waves for almost two, a decade, three, but they have lost four, teammates to breast up, cancer along the way. Two of our paddling members have died. That was deep in our hearts knowing that someday that'll be us. And it is, and it's hard. If you want it, you got it. But the tough times keep these women paddling forward. Deeper! Staying strong in the race of life. Go! Finish! Stephanie Sutton, WISN 12 Sports.